Hi, I am Dr. Tromok Shamantu, Assistant Professor of Medical Gastroenterology in Medical College, Kolkata. As we all know, we are still in the midst of a deadly second wave of COVID-19 in this country. And we all globally wish and pray that the pandemic ends at the earliest. But for that, we all have to do our job. And obviously then, we have to all follow our COVID appropriate behaviors. So what are they? Let's recapitulate very quickly. Social distancing, masking at places, and hand washing. These are the keys. To add to this, we now have realized that ventilation is very, very helpful. So open up your windows, try to avoid closed rooms. We now also have very strong evidence that healthy immune system can prevent a severe form of COVID. So nutrition is the crux. Try to take a balanced diet with fruits, fibers, vegetables, etc, etc. Please, please take your vaccination when it's your turn. Vaccination definitely helps. Having said that, never let off your guard following vaccination. Let's now come to the disease manifestations. And I'm very sure by this time you all are aware of the classical symptoms. However, as a gastroenterologist, it's my moral responsibility to make you aware of the gastrointestinal problems that a COVID-19 patient can face. Let's keep in mind that nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain and diarrhea can be present in 10 to 40% of the patients with COVID-19 which may precede or coexist with the classical symptoms. And this holds true for extremes of ages. So with children being more and more affected, the parents need to be alert. To re-emphasize, never ignore a gastrointestinal ailment at these difficult times. Even if you feel you have not contacted the disease historically or you don't have the typical symptoms clinically. Consult a doctor, never delay, never hesitate to do a COVID-19 test if your physician has asked you to do so. For patients with chronic gastrointestinal and liver related ailments and on immunomodulators or immunosuppressives like steroids, please continue your drug. However, unfortunately, if you have been affected by COVID-19, please consult your specialist your dosage may need to be adjusted. Finally, let us make you aware of a clinical entity which we call as post-COVID functional gastrointestinal disorders where subtle abdominal symptoms like altered motions, abdominal pain, bloating, indigestion can appear and persist for a period of time following recovery from COVID-19. Don't panic with all the symptoms. Your gastroenterologist will be able to take care of this with minimal medications. Remember, appropriate actions at appropriate times can help us to win this war against COVID-19.